Um, depending on the color cocker that you have, you're going to use different blade settings. There's a couple of things you need to factor in. The color of the dog, buff cockers have a very light, almost white undercoat. So when you shave, you're going to expose all of this white hair. So you have to be careful how short you go because sometimes you're going to expose too much white and there's gonna be a really uh, big differential between the white hair and the buff colored hair. So sometimes that throws off the eye. So if you're showing the dog, it can give the dog the appearance of problems that it doesn't have. If you have a black dog or a black and tan dog, you have the points that you have to worry about. So for this dog, for his coat thickness and because of his coloration, what I like to do is a 10 blade on the face and the throat, but you don't clip it where it's flat. So what you're going to do is drag the coat. So I have my clipper here and this is set, this is a cordless Kenji clipper and it's set on uh, the 10 blade setting. So what you're going to do is you don't shave flush like this. You wanna drag the clipper like this. Cause if you do flush like this, you're gonna get a very short, short, short cut, okay? What you wanna do is just drag over because what you wanna do is take off the fuzz but leave a little bit of layer of hair that's going to be between um, the dog's skin and a, like, a, like a fuzzy peach fuzz layer. You don't want it to be completely shaved like a poodle. You want it to have a little bit of a fuzzy texture. So again, you take the 10 blade, blade and you drag instead of clipping this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clip forward on the muzzle and then I'm gonna clip down on the sides of the cheek. But on the ears on him, I use a 30 blade um, in the direction of the growth of the hair. Now, some people prefer to use a 10 blade in reverse, and that's great on your black dogs, your black and tan dogs, because they tend to have darker skin. But because he has really light colored skin and this really light gold undercoat, if I use a 10 in reverse, it exposes too much skin and it looks really scalped. So I think he looks better with a uh, 30 blade going in the direction of the growth. Then I'm going to follow up with stripping out his coat we're gonna trim his bevels and then do some thinning shear work and finishing him off and making him look absolutely gorgeous. So let's get a good look at him before we start. You can see he's got no definition of his bevels. He's got very fuzzy ears, very fuzzy face. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna turn him into a gorgeous show dog once again.